Hello, welcome to ITTO Deep Dive. This is where we go into the ITTOs of project management, and we're taking a look at the PMBOK Guide 6th edition. That's right, the 6th edition. Well, let me give you some good advice here if you are trying to break into the PMBOK Guide. Perhaps you've gone through chapters 1, 2, 3. You'll get into chapter 4. You're going to hit the tools and the techniques. You're also going to hit the inputs and outputs. Now, the inputs and outputs are rather straightforward because these are things you get. These are not things that you do. The things you do are more difficult than the things you get. Think about it. The things that you get from a process are either project documents or project management plan components or change requests or work performance information or work performance data or work performance reports. They are things that you can link. You can connect the concept of what the PMI is telling you you get you can link that to your real world. You've seen a report before, you get the concept of change requests. But the tough stuff is the tools and techniques. The tools and techniques are the hard part on any exam, CAPM exam, PMP exam, and that's why we're gonna be spending roughly one and a half to two hours, maybe more, we'll find out, but we're going to spend this time digging into the tools and techniques. It's going to be extremely rapid, though. So we're not spending hours on end on a tool or technique. We're going to hit it one time. We're going to hit it quick. And then I'm going to give you some ammo, knowledge ammo, that will help you analyze the tool and technique further. So a lot of people are reading this book, The Pembok Guide, 6th edition, and they're hitting a brick wall. Well, my job is to remove that barrier so that when you see a tool or technique, you feel, hey, it's no big deal. That guy, Phil, covered it. And he gave me insights into what it is so I can study it further, okay? I'm gonna be showing you the tricks of the trade to studying the ITTOs even more. You see, the whole idea is to know what to do when you see a tool or technique that ordinarily would throw you for a loop. All right, so without much ado, I'm gonna be covering a lot of this information. You're gonna see me looking at my iPad, you're gonna see me looking at my PMBOK guide, and I might even whiteboard a few things for you just so that it all sticks, okay? So once again, welcome, welcome. We're gonna be starting off with page 685. So for those of you who don't know, PMBOK Guide on page 685, PMBOK Guide 6th edition, I hope that's the edition you're using. Well, on 685, it's got appendix X6. This appendix is really where you want to hone in. You want to hone in on this appendix and you want to use the appendix to do a little bit of dissecting because we're going to extract all the ITTOs from appendix X6. And I'm going to be telling you what they are. So let's read. It says, introduction, the PMBOK Guide 6th edition presents tools and techniques differently from other editions. Where appropriate, the edition groups tools and techniques by their purpose. The group name describes the intent of what needs to be done. So in essence, they have grouped tools and techniques in the sixth edition. That's right, they've grouped them in chunks. Now, that could be a little bit annoying when you take a look at figure 4-1, 5-1, 6-1, it doesn't give you clarity into what exactly is being done in each process. And that's why I use the word mine. 
you've got a mind for the tools and techniques. So you come across data analysis. What part of data analysis? Data analysis is a catch-all for many things. So that's exactly what we're going to be looking at, all right? Let's go over to page 686. Turn the page over. It goes into this dialogue of tools and techniques groups. Let's read. First one is data gathering techniques. Now I'm gonna give you the skinny of all of this stuff. Data gathering is gathering data. Whatever you use, the bottom line is you're collecting data. And that data is gonna be analyzed most likely. That data is going to be represented in some type of image or chart. That data is gonna be used. So, the next thing they talk about here is data analysis techniques. And these are techniques used to analyze the data that you've collected, however you wish to do that. So you gather a bunch of data, you analyze the data, okay? Ultimately, you're going to represent the data. That's the next bullet. Data representation techniques, whether you draw it in a chart or a graph or an image of sorts, that's data representation. Now, the next grouping is decision-making techniques. There are many ways we can make decisions as project managers or as a team. This goes into what techniques can be used to make decisions. Next, you've got communication skills. This revolves all around communications, and there are two that we're going to talk about here. And then it goes into interpersonal and team skills. People like referring to these as soft skills. Well, there are 17 that we're gonna talk about in this study. Now, last but not least, we have a lot of tools and techniques that do not fall into these groups, okay? And the PMI calls these ungrouped tools and techniques. These are tools and techniques that do not fall into any particular group. They are standalone tools and techniques, all right? Are you ready to go? We're gonna start off from the very first group in, data gathering tools and techniques. So, hey, get your pen, get your highlighter. These are very important. <laughs> I don't do any studying without a highlighter and a pen, all right? When we come back, we're gonna to begin to hit these tools and techniques. Get your paper, get your pen, get your pen book, like six or eight. We're gonna mark this thing up. See you when I come back. <laughs>